Okay, so this video is going to show you how to add media to your ePortfolio. So you might want to capture your thoughts in an audio file, or perhaps you want to capture your thoughts in a video file, or maybe you want to post a video of yours, of your own work. So again, you want to go up to this pages tab and actually, I'm sorry, you don't want to go to your pages tab. That's if you want to add a new page, you want to go to your insert tab and then there's some choices so you can go down and you're gonna see that there's options you can choose a file from YouTube so that would be if you've already created something and you want to upload it you can select that YouTube and you'll pull it in and you can search for um, the document you made or you can have it prepared um, in a different tab you can put in an audio file so this is where kind of grabbing that file would be. So I'm going to open up a new tab and I'm going to go to Google Drive and I'm just going to, I'm going to pull something out of my own portfolio. So I will show you what I had done. So my internet's very slow today. So let's see if I can fix this by shutting a couple of tabs or just do that while I'm waiting. Um, doesn't look good. So let's see. So here I go. Um, I'm going to go to Amy's portfolio. And in Amy's portfolio, you're going to see that I'll come down and I will come up to audio files that I made. It's an M4A file. So here I have it. And it's just an audio file. Share. Look, I'm just going to grab it. So I will copy this link. It's already set to anyone with the link. So I want to copy that link and I'll go back the examples. And let's say that I want to add that audio file so I can go here and I can say, okay, well, I have a text box. So this was my top title and what are your academic goals? Okay. Well, I'm not writing that about me, but let's pretend that I want to put in an audio file instead. So I could put in something, a nice way to do this would be a button. So if you go up here, here's a choice. It's a button and you can add this here. So I'm used to dragging, but you just want to click it. And I'm going to say Amy's audio file. And if I put the link there, I can say insert. And there it is. Now I can drag this and see how the little lines show up for me. And I have a choice. I can say it's a filled style an outline style or a text style, it's going to follow the styles that I've set up. So a text style kind of just looks like a link, but I'm going to go to that filled style and I'm going to preview it because I like to see what that looks like. And if I click this open, I'll see that it takes me to my 89 in Spanish and I can hit play. So if I hit play, then I'll hear the story of my one time in Spanish when I was a, I think I was a freshman and I got an 89 and my mom went, barging into school to have a parent conference because her little daughter could not get an 89. So that would be adding audio. Now I could also say, well, I also want to add video. Then I could choose that YouTube or I could use, um, it could be in my Google drive or it could be just downloaded from my device and I could add it up. So there's lots of different things you can do. So I encourage you to play as you're wanting to add things, but this gives you an example of how to add an audio file. And that's always a nice way to capture something.